Hey everybody and welcome. In this video I'm going to take a little bit of time and I'm going to show you another quick way of creating indentations in soft furniture. Before I get started I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed. If you haven't yet subscribed feel free to do it. Hit that notification icon and let me know what you think in the comments below. Your subscriptions really do help. Also a massive thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon and the people who join me on my live streams. You guys are awesome. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this. So here we have our character sitting on a bed and I've positioned her sort of roughly right, but we'll tweak that in a moment. The issue that we've got is that if we hide the bed sheet because that's actually a plane and then if we switch into our wireframe textured view mode, you can see that this bed doesn't really have a particularly detailed mesh for us to play around with so applying a D force to this surface probably wouldn't get us very far so we need a quick way of creating a, a much higher resolution mesh that we can actually apply this effect to so what we're going to do is we're going to come back into our texture shaded mode and we're actually just going to create a plane using the icon at the top here that looks like three shapes smushed together we're going to come to plane I'm going to start off by making it two meters across which is kind of bed size but we can tweak it afterwards and I'm going to give it 300 divisions then we're going to hit accept and you'll see that our plane has appeared at the bottom so we're going to drag that roughly into place like so and we're not going to worry too much about where the character is right now. We just want to make sure that we get the position of the plane dead right now. At the moment, it's way too high up. We only want it to be maybe an inch, an inch and a half above the surface of the bed. So that's fine. In fact, it's, even that's probably still a little bit higher. We could probably go even lower. So it's kind of, there we go. Remember, we're not creating like massively deep indentations. We're just giving the illusion of the character sinking into that surface slightly. And if we wanted to be absolutely accurate, I could say sort of 65.5. There you go. So I reckon that's probably good. Now we come up and we need to get it right on the X and Z axes. There we go. And we just want it to be sort of the same size and shape as the surface that we've got it on without it crossing over too many act bear with me a sec i'll just fix the camera without it um overlapping too much with other meshes in a way that would be noticeable now this is fine it's underneath the pillow and it's above the sheet and what we're going to have to do whether you like it or not is you're going to have to fix this in post so you're going to have to come along along the edge of this sheet because there will be a shadow and you're going to have to fix it in post with the probably the healing brush tool it takes a couple of seconds it's not a big deal so now we've got this plane on here we need it to match the surface of the bed so we're going to select our surface selection tool which is the one that looks like it's got three swatches next to it and we're going to select the surface of the mattress come to our surfaces tool like that and we're simply going to right click copy selected surfaces now we're going to select our bed sheet and we're going to paste two selected surfaces now what we do have to do is come into our base tab and make sure that that is for some reason that always goes to 0.54 across the board so we need to just make sure that that's at maximum and then in theory that should look more or less the same and we can just double check that if we go into nvidia ira mode and we can have a look and see if it is the case or if there's any really noticeable differences in color we can fix them and as you can see in nvidia ira preview mode the sheet and the plane look basically the same so we can come back out of nvidia mode for now like that and what we're going to do is we're going to now come in and we're just going to get our character into a position where she's above 
the surface of the bed, but digging into the plane. So we'll minimize that and we'll select our character. And we're just going to use the Y translate slider to bring her up. And we don't want any of her surfaces to be sticking below the surface of the bed, really, if we can avoid it. But in some cases, that's not going to be possible. So you just kind of have to learn where the sweet spot is. Now, if you can see her hand, her finger here is sort of stroking the surface of the bed. So we can actually use that as a as an indicator as to where we need to put her in terms of her height. And you can obviously zoom right in and check that you're in position and get that perfect. But again, this is not completely necessary. You can sort of eyeball it. It doesn't really matter. So I'm kind of happy with that. So we got our plane surface now. We've got the character in position. What we need to do now is we need to create a deformer. So we're going to go to create and we're going to select new deformer and we just leave it as default deformer too. And then when we open up here, we've got the deformer itself and then we've got the deformer field. We're going to change our influence from sphere to weight map like that. And then we're going to select the weight map editor tool, which looks like a brush in the middle of a dumbbell. If you hover over it, you'll get the tool tip. So we now have our weight map drawing and if you go into your tool settings tab, which if you don't have it, you can get it from window panes tabs and then it'll be down here, tool settings. And you can change the sensitivity and the radiuses or the radii of your brushes. We need to add a map. So we've got influence weights, add map, boom. That's what we've done there. And we can clear that out by increasing the sensitivity of our of our brush and we're just going to bang up the radius the radii to 100 and 199 so there and we're just going to hold down the alt key and then you can see you can delete all of the influence from your existing weight map so that it doesn't have any current effect like that so now we've got a clear canvas to start with just make sure we get it all and then we're going to put this back down quite low change this back to 10 and put this back to kind of 40 odd and then when we look at our brush this is what we have so we're going to do a little test area and we're going to do it by her foot because that's easily visible so when we drag when we click and drag you can see we're painting all of these vertices here Take a little bit of moving the camera around. And you don't want, like I've gone over the top here, but this is a test area. We're gonna kind of tweak it afterwards. Like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back out and we're going to go into our scene and we're gonna select the deformer itself and we're gonna select the move tool and we're going to use our Y translate to drop it down so that it's resting on the surface of the bed. We don't want it to go below it. We want it to be just on the surface. So I reckon I'm minus two, that's fine. That'll do the job. I reckon that's bang on what we're looking at. So we come back up now, we can come back to our test area and you can see that what we've actually done is we've painted an indentation in the surface of the sheet. And if we were to go back to our white map editor tool we can paint over this as much as we want but because we haven't gone below the surface of the bed with the deformer this the bed sheet cannot sink below the surface of the bed which means that we can paint over this as much as we want and we're not going to get any clipping on the surface of the bed but we can increase the sensitivity of our tool a little bit to speed the process up a bit and you can paint around the surfaces that you want the indentation to be around. Like so. And you can go nice and slow. You can see that it's a very gradual process. And this is one of those processes that is going to take a while to get perfect. And 
if you wanted to, you could hold down the Alt key and unpaint some of these vertices as well. So that the indentation is not quite as widespread. And it looks a little bit more kind of like a memory foam mattress. This is what I would call this effect because it's you're sinking in in a very localized area. Whereas if you were using a a normal mattress, the area of the indentation would be much more widespread. So now if we go back to NVIDIA IRA preview mode, you can see now as the preview is starting to get closer to completion that there is actually an indentation now where her foot is resting on the bed. And as I said, you can tweak that as much or as little as you like. And that's really all there is to this trick. I hope you found this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to smash like. Bye-bye. <laughs>